say I have found the place that the rabbits are getting in. It is so exciting for me. Um, so we're going to actually uh, put up uh, a bit of fencing so that the rabbits don't come in anymore. Madness. It's going to be a life change for me. I'm so happy. Right, let's get started. All this space and where, where is the rabbits getting in? In this tiny little crack. There. Full of stinging nettles. Naturally. I just wanted to say that if you do comment uh, below, I answer all my comments. So please go ahead and leave me a comment if you want me to see it. All right. Okay. Okay. So my main job here is just to try to block as much of this fence as possible, so the rabbits can no longer get in. And that's why I'm using this sheet metal that I found around the allotment. Some of it was buried. Um, along the path in my other allotment and some of it um, was used to border okay so what I've done is I've slid these pieces of sheet metal behind this rubble here and I'm going to use the rubble to pin it up against the fence because I can't be drilling holes in it um, and then I'm going to be putting some fine meshing over the top so that these holes are uh, covered because you can see my next door neighbour, they have nothing between the farmer's field and themselves, so the rabbits are coming in here and popping along to my plot. So, that's the mesh I'm going to be using. It's really, I'll show you bits by hand. It's really small stuff, so nothing's getting in there. Right, let's get started. So, this is what I've done. Um, I put the pieces of sheet metal, like, embedded down with the rockery there i've pulled down this plastic netting it's so tangled i'm gonna leave it and i've put this fine mesh up um so to secure it i've just, like literally tied it for now so it's tied all along so the rabbits can't push against it it's not going to give i've tied it along the bottom i told you that was very difficult to do and i've put rocks up against it so it's actually pushing it up um, so nothing should be able to get in. I'm so chuffed. What do you reckon? Is this going to be rabbit proof? Well, rabbit resistant, not rabbit proof. It goes all the way up and then you can't really see it because of the camera, but it goes to about there and it's all the way down. There is mesh or the metal sheet in. So I'm quite pre impressed with it. I'm hoping that it means that my beans will not be murdered anymore. Um, I'm kind of just piled that up against it. It's the ground so hard I can't actually, um, I can't actually hit these. I've got these big metal rebars and what I wanna do is use my mallet and put them in, but I'm gonna wait until there's been a bit of decent rain because the ground is rock hard here. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I think it's better. I'm hoping this is the only place where um, the mesh is not there. So I'm have a look around the allotment, have a little walk around, because you can see that I've got these um, like roofing to like everywhere. And it's so funny because I generally was thinking to myself in the winter, I'm gonna remove all this roofing because the roofing makes a noise. I'm so glad that I didn't, so. <laughs> so um, what I'm gonna do next, I've got to snip this off with my metal snip still got quite a bit of this left i've actually got this from the scrap yard so didn't actually pay for it which is awesome so it was actually free um so i do have quite i can get my hands on some, met, um, some metal meshing which is fantastic because i mean it cost the bottom it was like 30 quid to do my to do the extension of my chicken coop so i try to use as much free as possible so I'm just going to walk around the whole allotment and see um, if there's any more holes that I could use this mesh for. So another thing I've done to protect against my beans against the rabbits is I put mesh on these ones. I've run out of mesh or I've used this plastic, see-through plastic, just laid it on top sort of thing. Um, I'm hoping that now that's all been done, I won't be needing this so it can come off and be exposed to the elements. But already you can see that it's actually starting to come up again where nothing is actually eating it. So let's have a look, let's wait and see. Okay, I've also um, trimmed all of the tomatoes in here because they were incredibly bushy. 
Um, I need to go for and stake them. Um, and I've also done a harvest of this here. As you can see, it's going really, really well. Um, I'm harvesting a load of it, which is here. I'm going to probably dry that for winter time. Um, I've still got. Forgive, I've just put a layer of compost over it, so it's not looking fantastic. I've like I've got more of the compost on the plant than I did actually on the floor. Um, I've still got some of these peppers. This is tomahawk. It's an orange pepper, so it's looking great. Still don't have any. I don't have any Scotch bonnets here? Oh, to the right, look. There's one. Spare Scotch bonnet. Fantastic. I'm going to put some more fertiliser on it. I've also uh, gone and trimmed all of my tomatoes as they were getting a bit bushy and I was worried about blight. I've already sprayed them with um, this solution of aspen. Um, so they're looking really fantastic. I've got one, I think about six or no, seven, seven tomatoes in here, all different varieties, not sure which. But they're really growing really well. Uh, no fruit set on them yet, but I'll give them all a good water. I'm going to go ahead and fertilise them with some chicken manure. So I'm going to go do that now. <laughs> 